Well, weeks after Buffalo Bills player DeMar Hamlin suffered cardiac arrest on the field, we are still talking about the medical response that saved his life. And that kind of response could save any athlete, from professionals to kids. In many cases, it means pushing for CPR and AED certification, which many but not all gyms and public places require. Our Connor McHugh met with one Colorado woman who had a scare similar to Hamlin's while she was young. Years later, she has dedicated her life to this cause. For the past seven years now, training sessions like this have been an annual tradition for Jordan Peak. Right Each training course, a refresher on proper CPR techniques and AED administration. You're going to go about two inches um, down into the person. As a middle school teacher, Peak knows these skills could be the difference in life or death for a student. You think you're ready? But for this 21 year old, it's so much deeper than that. CPR is really the only reason I am alive today, um, and that someone knew how to do it correctly. Nine years ago, Peak was your typical active middle schooler, playing more than 20 hours of sports a week. Play basketball, was running. One night, she felt tired, but still went to basketball tryouts. What happened next forever changed her life. We had just finished some sprinting. Um, I was walking over to get water and collapsed during that walk. Peak was unconscious and with no heart rate, so a mom and coach performed CPR for nine minutes until EMTs arrived. Doctors later put her in a medically induced coma for five days. My parents thought I had just like broken a bone or gotten a concussion, and when they arrived on scene, it was apparent that was not the case. While Peak suffered cardiac arrest that night, she went on to make a full recovery though she later learned how lucky she really was. The community center I was practicing in did not have an AED. Unfortunately, it's all too common. Dr. Chris Rausch is a cardiologist with Children's Hospital Colorado. He also works with Project Adam, a national program aimed at getting more AEDs in schools. Our goal is that there's an AED within two minutes of any place that somebody's going to be participating in in athletics. He says the medical device and CPR skills are critical in the moments before EMTs arrive. For most people, the chance of survival beyond uh, five to 10 minutes without CPR and an AED is zero. Since her incident, Peak has worked with Children's Hospital to spread that message so no student has to defy the odds like her. It truly is a miracle that I'm still here. Each year, she'll keep sharpening these skills while hoping she never has to use them. A part of being a good public citizen is knowing how to take care of the people around you. In Cripple Creek, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First.